If you want to create a new Apple ID and you encounter this error and you don't know what to do, just follow this video until the end. I will teach you how to solve the problem. Hello and welcome back guys. In the first step to use this method, you need that your Windows is based on 64 bits and your motherboard has WT capability. To know that, we need a program which name is CPUV. So you can find this program on my Telegram channel or open up the browser and go to this URL leomoon.com. Now go to download tab, desktop apps scroll down and go to next page again scroll down and here you can see Leo Moon CPU V so click on it here you can see download button just click on it and start to download the app after you downloaded the program and open it you will see this page here you can see my CPU architecture and my OS architecture which are uh, 64 bits and as you can see the important section is here guys which is supported which means virtual technology here you have three modes and I will tell you one by one the first mode is that your system does not support VT and this feature is not turned on on your system and here you can see in the picture the second mode is that your system support VT and this feature but it's not turned on in your system and finally the third and last mode is that your system support VT and this feature is on in your system and everything is ready to use this method and our main program so if your PC support VT technology and you are on second or third mode let's go to the next step in this step as i told you you should go to my telegram channel and get the main program link and information after that we will install it with each other so run an installation as a administration and here you can change your uh, program address and after that just click on install now and wait so open the program after the installation is complete so after open the program and see this message it means the VT it's not turned on on your system and you didn't do that so it's time to teach you how to turn on VT on your system or virtualization technology. So restart your computer and press the F2 or delete key repeatedly as soon as your computer shut down. Guys if you don't know how to go to your BIOS page or what is your BIOS page button you can search on the Google and you can find it. And here you can see the sum of the device uh, BIOS page key. After restart your system and see the black screen repeatedly, press your uh, BIOS key. For example, my motherboard is ASUS and I repeatedly press delete button to see my BIOS page. After you went to your BIOS page, try to find the VT item which is usually named Intel Virtualization Technology Virtualization Virtual VT-X or SVM. In general, you can find your VT option uh, most of the time on your advanced page of your BIOS page, processor configuration or security tab. Now let me uh, show you on my BIOS page. As you can see here, I will go to advanced mode and here try to find the VT actually worth I don't actually find it here so again I click on advanced tab as you can see check and advanced tab and here as you can see guys I have a CPU configuration just click on it or choose it with your arrow 
and here try to find a virtualization word or ritual or vt or svm and here guys as you can see i found that inter virtualization technology as i said to you so as you can see here it's disabled here so i just click on it and enable it after you have enabled your uh, vt option uh, please uh, go and uh, save your changes and don't forget that it's so important just click on yes and your system will be restart soon so be patient guys and wait actually guys don't have afraid after you save your changes your system will be shut down and suddenly go up and rises so don't have afraid now after your windows is up we enter to the next step again actually guys i will check my uh, cpuv and here as you can see everything is ready uh, i have a vt supported and vt enabled as you can see i have these two parameters and both of them are on so it's time to go to the main program and start to creating apple id now we will open up our main program and before starting that please guys don't forget that to turn on your internet connection and turn on your vpn it's so important you can find this vpn on my youtube channel and i actually made a video about that you can go to that video and learn how to download it and use it it's a great vpn guys after the vpn is connected open the main program it takes a few seconds for the app to load completely so just wait and be patient now in this step go to my telegram channel and download a version of the apple music application which is a special version after you downloaded the file from my telegram channel you should have a similar file like this it's not important which icon it has just drag and drop the file to main program like this when you see this message it means that the app has been installed completely and successfully and you must see apple music icon on your home screen now pay attention guys Close the main program after that, uh, disconnect your VPN and disconnect your uh, internet connection. So you shouldn't have any open network connection. So as you can see, I disconnected my VPN, now disconnect my internet access. In order to prevent our address from being blocked, we have to change the MAC address of our network. For this, we use the MAC address changer program. You can find it on the internet or in my telegram channel. So right click on it and run as administrator. Actually guys working with this program is so easy and simple. When you click here you can change your MAC address. It's so easy guys. Just click here and here you can see your current MAC address and uh, when you actually click on manufacturer you can change your MAC address by another network name as you can see there is a lot of so many uh, name and uh, MAC address just select one of them it's not important which one just choose one of them click on OK and your MAC address will change click on yes and it's ready now whenever you want to reset your mac address you can do it by this button it's so easy guys just click on it and it will be reset your mac address and you will go to actually default now close the changer and after that connect your internet and after that connect your vpn and finally it's time to open up your main program after the program is fully loaded 
run the Apple Music app. Be patient and wait. And here, I scroll down. Click on agree, continue. It may take a while, so be patient and wait. Here, click on try it now. Click on start trial. Now choose create new Apple ID. Now here, uh, write your email address, your password, and your region. After fill email address, password, and uh, region, check agree and next. Here, type your personal information such as first name, last name, birth date, which are so important, and you should type. Uh, three security question and answer and a screenshot from them. They are so important point guys. After filling in the required information, click next. Here in this step, uh, we will actually choose our payment method and after that uh, type your billing address such as name, last name, street and your estate and city and zip code guys for this section i always type a uh, real address for uh, actually billing address so if you want to know that how to do it uh, you can go to my telegram channel i will upload related video on there so you can go there and watch it and learn it so after filling in the required information click next now here is the last step to verify your email address. So we will go to our email box and try to find the Apple email. Now here you will see the verification code. Just copy it and paste it here and just click on next. So here's the proof as you can see the data of the video which means it's a new trick and works till today as you can see we made it it's so easy guys congratulations you can do it by yourself and uh, actually create your apple id for yourself thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoy it so with another video, see you soon guys, be careful of yourself, goodbye.